My name is Hitoshi Abe. I was born in Sendai, Japan. I came to Los Angeles twice in 1987 and 2007. I've been architect for maybe 25 years. I don't know why actually I wanted to be an architect. I really don't remember. The biggest challenge uh, for architecture in the 21st century is that how we can actually redefine ourselves. We actually stuck in a very, very small definition of profession and we need to actually break it and we need to expand it out. That would be the biggest challenge for us. For me, architecture is medium. I think architecture should be active medium, basically defining or mediating two different conditions or several different conditions. And I really want to create this kind of a, a very active sort of boundary and medium to tie various phenomena and conditions around the world. Many people tell me that uh, why I have so many different kinds of style and I always say that the, because that I'm very much interested in actually learning about the conditions and trying to find the way to glue them together and that becomes my architectural form. That's why that uh, my architecture always changes depending on where we are and who is involved and I'm pretty much fascinated about sort of working in this kind of a situation to innovate always something new. My first experience of Los Angeles was the movie, first movie my father took me to the theater. It was a 007 Diamond Forever. And what's interesting about that movie is the such an optimistic attitude toward the future through technology. And this kind of a optimistic sort of a, a, a attitude toward the future is always here and that really pushes us to try something new, to try uh, and test new ideas. That's why we are here in LA. My name is Gaston Nogues. My name is Benjamin Ball. I was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I was born in Waterloo, Iowa. I came to Los Angeles in 1979. I came to Los Angeles in 1989. I've been an architect for now, uh, since I graduated from school in 93. I have been an architect for 20 some years. I became an architect because I was always interested in design and how it could influence space. I became an architect because uh, when I was a child, I was thumbing through a book on Frank Lloyd Wright and found a fold-out of a mile-high skyscraper. And the book belonged to my friend's father. And I was fascinated by the kind of visionary um, possibilities of architecture. Who knows what the biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is? I wouldn't want to speculate. I know what my biggest challenge is. <laughs> well, it's to continue to do good work. The biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century, I think, would be maybe to not define itself. Architecture is passion. Architecture is hard work. Architecture is a uh, desire to make something the best that it can be. Architecture is the ordering of things in space. I mean, Balnogis is highly experimental, and that's the, that's the, that's the mindset of, of Balnogis. Balnogis takes chances. The mindset of Balnogis is to, uh, I suppose, uh, make space uh, that can be directly experienced, uh, and to do that via experimental materials and uh, processes of making and, and to present that to uh, a public. Los Angeles is, uh, it's about sprawl, but it's also about light. It's about, it's, it's about the horizontal space. It's, uh, it's a city I love. I, I feel like in Los Angeles, I'm always on the way to somewhere and I'm never anywhere. It, it means that sometimes I can, um, I can do a lot of thinking when I'm behind the wheel. My name is Herwig Baumgartner. My name is Scott Uryu. 
I was born in Villach, Austria. I was born in Davis, California, USA. I came in Los Angeles in 1996. I came to Los Angeles in 1987. I've been an architect for 17 years. I've been an architect for 20 years. I became an architect because I, I always liked to make things with, with my hands. Later, at some point, I saw uh, the, uh, an incredible house by architect in the Dominic, that the stone house. It was not far from where I lived and where I grew up. And I liked it, and I thought it was incredible and very powerful. And so that's why I became an architect. I became an architect because I think there's a multiple answers to this, but one of them would be because my father was a, a lithographer. So there are images of fantastic objects like Porsches and Ferraris and jets and sometimes Japanese prints in the house. In that mix were drawings of uh, M.C. Escher. And it was astonishing looking in those, the atmosphere of Escher's drawings and uh, to experience the spatial qualities of such a flat two-dimensional rep representation. I remember as a child uh, looking into the infinity of these creations. And I think that started me on the track. I think the biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is uh, to be relevant again. Architecture and especially uh, public uh, buildings uh, in the great American cities have really been marginalized to uh, functional shelters. And it's an architecture that pretends to be rational um, and to solve problems without really creating a vision for the future. The biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is uh, to define and refine the optimism of uh, our time and, and offer that to the future. Um, too much of what we see is driven by cynicism, short-term analysis, where spaces of mediocrity, neutrality, and urban apathy are, are the accepted norm. To offer something more ambitious than that, uh, something that goes beyond answering basic functional needs, that is the challenge, to actively, not passively, take part in shaping our future uh, takes an elevated level of courage and optimism. Architecture is soft, powerful, strange, controversial. Architecture is evolving, repercussive, hard. Our firm is uh, Baumgartner and your UB plus you. Um, and uh, our architecture objectives for any design goes beyond simply solving the functional needs um, and points towards the unexpected. And in the best cases, finds new territories to explore with our clients. Um, with any of our work, we are after a sense of otherness, uh, pushing the boundaries of what we think of as architecture, exploring this with new materials, form, technology, and concepts. Why Los Angeles? Um, I lived in Vienna <coughs> most of my uh, adult life, until my early 20s, where I studied music and architecture. And as a student, I came here to Los Angeles and uh, to visit Sayak, actually. And I really liked Los Angeles right from the get-go. It really has a lot of room to kind of push the envelope, but also room to fail, which I think is really important for you to grow as an architect. Los Angeles is a wonderland. It's a combination of industries um, from Hollywood to aerospace to defense, uh, mixed in with a, the vast range of, of physical and cultural uh, ecologies that makes this place enthralling. Um, the juxtaposition of cities within cities, uh, from Koreatown, Silver Lake, Santa Monica, um, creates a truly cosmopolitan mix. And this is one of the reasons I came from Northern California and stayed here. Los Angeles has an extraordinary sense of openness, both physically and mentally, which uh, makes it an epicenter for challenging design. My name is Hagi Belsberg. I was born in Tel Aviv, Israel. I came to Los Angeles in 1971. I've been an architect for about uh, 17 years. I became an architect because uh, it was uh, during visits to different buildings with my parents. They would try to show me objects within the building and I just kept staring at the space and uh, just was enamored with space my entire life and been passionate about it ever since I can remember. The biggest challenge for, the art, for architects in the 21st century truly is uh, environmental, our decaying environment. And if architects don't 
uh, address the the situation, the, the the environmental situation we have, we're we're basically missing the greatest opportunity. We are the most important and frontline profession, and we should embrace the technology within the aesthetics that we can provide. Architecture is uh, environment. Yeah, architecture is the most glorious environment. Bellsburg Architects is is really a an ongoing experiment of collaborative efforts of many ideas, many individuals in the office, everyone offering their own expertise and their own experiences and trying to come up with unique approach to every new project as a collective. Uh, it's To me, architects do not ever work individually. We always work in teams and it's um, probably the most powerful approach to, uh, to problem solving that we have. Los Angeles is uh, is, an ex is a land of experiment for architects and architecture. It has been and will continue to be, and that's probably the most exciting thing about working in Los Angeles and the ability to try to export that idea to other environments and communities is, is probably the most exciting aspect of working here. My name is Barbara Bester. I was born in Boston. I came to Los Angeles in 1986 for the first time. I've been an architect for 18 years. I became an architect because when I was 12, I went to the Boston Aquarium and got very excited about that building. And ever since, I've been interested in seeing sort of the newest new buildings. The biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is, is creating places to bring people together, especially facing the new challenges of technology and kind of social introspection. Architecture is vibrant. Architecture is translucent. Architecture is catalytic. Architecture is sunshine and noir. I want to make architecture that is an active participant in contemporary life. I'm interested in popular culture, design culture, street culture and how to integrate the kind of various floating milieus that of kind of the moment that I live in into my building projects. I would say the main techniques for architecture are form and plan and color and I try to use those to create a kind of strange beauty in everyday life experiences kind of reflecting maybe the strange beauty I already find to be there. LA is a great city to work in because it has so many different parts, so it's actually quite a diverse practice um, just by virtue of its specificity. I do think it was maybe built as a 20th century city and that now that it's a 21st century city, it's very exciting to be part of the kind of reinvention of the city, like how how is it gonna look in the next 50 years and um, it's pretty, thrilling to be part of that and to be thinking about what that might be. It's a kind of, it's almost like we're going to recycle a lot of parts of the city, um, hopefully in a good way. My name is Anthony Cassia. My name is Jonathan Day. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. I was born in Champaign, Illinois. I came to Los Angeles in 1988. I came to Los Angeles in 1990. I've been an architect for 21 years. I've been an architect for 18 years. I became an architect because it feeds the creative soul. If it's done right, it's an intellectual art form. I became an architect because I love the art of building. I really enjoyed the process of making when I was a kid. The biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is integration. Integration of new technologies and new ways of building using computer-aided software and machines to produce components of the building off-site so that the architect has greater control of the construction process, ultimately streamlining it. The biggest challenge for architecture in 21st century is exposure. Having patrons who want to create architecture need to find the right architect that wants to do experimentation and test new ideas. Architecture is exciting. Architecture is engaging. Architecture is transcendent. Architecture is experience. Architecture is form making. Architecture is physical. Cassia Day's body of work is an exploration, an ongoing exploration about ideas. 
ideas about space and form making. Space, thinking about interior space, exterior space, how to define them, how not to define them, so that you can blur the boundaries together. Form making, not just the design of the form, but how new technologies can actually make these forms a reality. Los Angeles is an international city different from the small towns I grew up in. Los Angeles has the opportunity for exploration and innovation that many other places don't have. Why Los Angeles? One word, freedom. Freedom to build. There's so much space here available to, to work in the city compared to other dense, compact cities in the US. Los Angeles has a spirit of experimentation. All of a sudden, California does. So we can try out new ideas and have clients willing to let us do that. My name is Kevin Daly. I was born in Chicago, Illinois, but raised in Northern California. I came to Los Angeles in 1985, and I've been an architect since 1985. Uh, I became an architect because um, I'm probably not one of the people who wanted to be an architect when they were little kids and played with Legos, and you always hear that story. And I think uh, I was a science student, and then just all of a sudden one day I realized I should be an architect. I think the biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is to build less. Uh, and I think that has to take a lot of different forms. I think we have to build um, much lighter and much smaller and much more enduringly beautiful. And I think that's really the only way we're going to engage the kind of fundamental sustainability that architecture has to take on. To characterize architecture in single words, I would probably start by thinking about spaces that warp and twist and are formed, um, spaces that are irregular, uh, crenellated and, and faceted and, and things like that. In my practice, uh, we've been practicing uh, for 20 some years as Daily Gang Architects. We're just changing that to Kevin Daly Architects. Um, our practice is really about working in the public domain. Uh, for the most part, we have worked uh, on schools and in, in very public contexts. And I see our work as a very specialized form of uh, the most everyday kinds of buildings, very highly used and highly programmed buildings. And I think that's we do best in the public domain. We tend to work for people who are in the arts, not people who are patrons of the arts. And I think that's one thing that really differentiates Los Angeles from a lot of, uh, of a lot of other big cities. Architecture here is accessible, and it's something that is engaged by the public rather than by the patron. This is really a crowdsourced city, uh, and, and a lot of the architecture shows the influence of that. My name is Neil Denari. I was born in Fort Worth, Texas. I came to Los Angeles in 1988. I've been an architect for 30 years. I became an architect because it's the only thing I wanted to do with my life. The biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is reestablishing relevance of its uh, capacity to transform space, um, especially in the public sphere. Architecture is beautiful. Architecture is ugly. Architecture is powerful. Architecture is intense, transformative, sublime, amazing. Neil M. Denari Architects is interested in architecture as a medium. It's one among many that we live with today, both 2D and 3D. Of course, it's the great three-dimensional medium of our time. But our work tries to incorporate and understand the way in which contemporary life is also led in the world of illusion and two dimensions. It's a taboo subject, but we want to bring it to architecture and fuse those together. It's what I call formographics, the graphic and the formal coming together. Why Los Angeles? Because here you never know what's going to happen next, and that's exciting. My name is Joseph Giovannini. I was born in Los Angeles. I've been an architect for 25 years. I became an architect because my father owned buildings and built buildings. And so from a very early age, we were running around buildings with hammers and tools. And I understood that you uh, can make buildings rather than simply live in them. The biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is helping to f uh, forge the soul of our culture. Architecture is ideas, space, 
shadows, perception, mystery, movement, interpretation, uh, transporting. Uh, my architecture is about perception. My buildings are, are strolling un into an uncertainty. I use tricks of um, uh, illusion to create the uncertainty. You experience the building by having to walk through it. You put it together in your mind. Uh, it, it becomes your experience. You make, you make the building. Los Angeles is an open culture, uh, and, it's, uh, and architects have a very privileged position in it. People are curious about it. Um, it is done on a very personal basis, and so it leaves a lot of room for experiment. It's a pleasure to be back at MOCA because I have a very personal involvement um, with the institution since when I was writing in the early 80s as a critic for the Herald Examiner, I wrote a series of pieces about the um, saving the design done by Arata Izuzaki from a lot of the confusion that was emanating from the administration. So that the, uh, as a result of the articles, um, uh, the building that he wanted to get built was built finally, and um, everybody parted shaking hands. So it's a pleasure to be back. My name is John Enright. My name is Margaret Griffin. I was born in Winchester, Massachusetts. I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I came to Los Angeles in 1987. I came to Los Angeles in 1994. I've been architect for 25 years. I've been an architect for 25 years. I became an architect to change the environment around me. I became an architect because I was fascinated with the physical environment and I felt I could really make an impact in this profession. The biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is the advent of population growth and climate change. The biggest challenge for the architecture in the 21st century is the integration of digital technology fully into construction techniques and not just in fabrication. and navigating the environmental impact uh, on our world as a whole. Architecture is all-encompassing. Architecture is space, light, movement, materiality, and the environment. Our practice, Griffin and Wright Architects, is interested in notions of the continuity of space through the manifestation of built form. Los Angeles is a messy city. A vibrant city. Los Angeles is still an emerging city. It's continuously changing. It's completely dynamic. And in a way, maybe it hasn't even grown up yet. And as a practicing architect, to be able to participate in the growth of that uh, emergent, uh, uh, almost biological aspect of city growth is really wonderful. My name is Sin Ming Fong. My name is Craig Hartitz. I was born in Hanoi, Vietnam. I was born in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. I came to Los Angeles in 1975. I came to Los Angeles in 1969, more or less, to help start CalArts. I became an architect because I was interested at that time in theater and in fine arts. And that was my understudy. The combination of those two made me become very interested in architecture. I became an architect because it was kind of the summation of all the various erratic youthful paths that I took and it was the only one that would glue them all together. I think the biggest challenge um, for architecture in the 21st century is uh, the speed of time and the speed of technology. And because architecture has always been a very slow profession. And now we are moving so fast forward with all of the progress on everything that uh, we need to catch up very, very quickly. And then we have to learn things and adapt ourselves. So it's, um, it's, um, it is a biggest challenge, is how can we adapt to changes? The biggest challenge, I think, for architecture in the 21st century is to let down its guard. I think is to become more engaged with reality and less engaged with the sort of stratosphere because there are really pressing problems in, you know, in terms of global warming, huge numbers of population increases, um, all sorts of perplexing and difficult issues which um, 
architects are standing aloof from a bit, and I think they, the challenge is how do you, as a culture, become more engaged with all of that? I think architecture is challenging, it's um, fulfilling, it's frustrating, but it's um, very rewarding. Well, architecture is a roadblock. It's perplexing, it's um, uh, not nimble, it is persistent, and it is indelible, and it is um, culturally stagnant. Well, the name of our practice is Hodgetts and Fung. We're very, very greedy. Not for money, but we're really greedy for content. And so what we've tried to, to kind of nurture is this idea that uh, we're open to and engaged with a whole panoply of different uh, activities. The strange thing right now is that we've been working for the police force and Jesuit priests simultaneously. And that kind of spectrum is something that's very, very, very exciting. So um, architecture for us is a great journey into unknown territory. I think Los Angeles has always been um, on the edge of um, being on the West Coast, um, being part of a place where uh, there are ideas which are constantly pioneering. It's a place where it's less academic. Um, it's also very close to uh, the film industry, to a place where people are inventing things, people are more entrepreneurial. Uh, it's a uh, kind of a um, uh, single industry kind of uh, place. So um, there's a lot of uh, small manufacturing that would help, uh, at least for architects, to experiment with their idea, to be able to see the idea realized and fulfill. So there's always been a tradition in Los Angeles for those kind of um, experimentation where you can actually make things and test things out. What it has is a framework which is very non-hierarchical. And that means that there's access to skills and uh, thinking and so forth and so on that's not kind of pre-digested by the media or by the institutions or by even uh, academic institutions. And so that kind of first state, that kind of virginal state, which is rapidly going away, but that's what attracted us here. My name's Coy Howard, born in Dallas, Texas. I came to Los Angeles in 1969. I've been an architect, I would say, since I've been 14 years old. I became an architect because I have no idea. The biggest challenge for architecture in the 21st century is the same challenge it's been forever, and that is to move people. Architecture is an epiphenomena. Uh, it's an aesthetic experience, which is created through the interaction of cognitive processes, sensory perceptions, and personal values. It's not a building. Architecture is not a building. Architecture is an experience. My practice is really a, um, a practice about intimacy. Um, I got involved with architecture and other things I do, furniture, art installations, various things like this, primarily because I like the intense interaction with materials and qualities of space and experience. So most of my clients are basically involved in the art world, in museums, uh, patrons of the arts, etc. And that, that's primarily because that's a self-selected audience, and those people are already hypersensitive to the kind of intimacy and the kind of engagement that I like in my architecture. I came to Los Angeles in, 19, <clears throat> in 1969, and it took me about five seconds to fall in love with the city. I love the weather. I love the sense of freedom. I love the sense that basically at that moment in time, the architectural culture in Los Angeles was let us say generously minimal, and it provided a kind of open arena for a kind of engagement for a young person, which I very much appreciated. Um, so it was, the, it was a sense of freedom that it really gave me, uh, that I really enjoy, and I still, still continue to enjoy about Los Angeles.